Poltus Friday night, and yet again, time for us to make fun of a movie. This one, this one's pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and start the film, and then we'll go through all of my, uh, you know, my usual stuff, my my housekeeping, because the intro to this is forever. So let's just let's just yeah. All right, so. The usual stuff applies, you know, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, comments, especially if you think of a really funny joke that I didn't think of, maybe you can help me improve my game, put that in the comments below, that'll help me with that algorithm as well, appreciate that. Uh, we've got the QR code listed as well, if you look over there you'll see a QR code, that'll take you to the Extra Life for Kids page, supporting Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital. Um, Arnold Palmer's done a lot of work for my family over the years, uh, delivering my children. Uh, not necessarily Arnold Palmer, there's a series, the Palmer Family Hospitals. But anyway, and my son that sadly didn't make it was delivered at one of their hospitals as well. And during all that time, we were low income and no insurance, so they didn't get paid for it. So this is a way for me to try to pay them back for the good they've done for my family, as well as doing good for other families and paying it forward. I'd really appreciate your help with that. And Scan that QR code, and as always, there will be a link in the description. And if you're watching this on Twitch, there's a link in the dangly down there bits. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, we're currently working. We're getting ready to do a riff of one of my all-time favorite movies, Chopping Mall. I'm hoping to get it done by next Wednesday. This one's going to involve more editing than I've ever done before. And my work schedule's been hell, because I work with a bunch of spoiled teens who don't want to work. And so I end up pulling massive friggin' hours. So hopefully I can find time to get that done, but we're going to be doing Chopping Mall. It is one of my absolute favorite movies. It is so... It's that, that beautiful blend of ridiculously bad, but in such a clever, funny way that it just becomes... I don't understand why it's not called classic material. I personally think it should be. I think it's phenomenal. I don't understand why it doesn't get talked about more. I love it. I'm looking forward to it. I really, really want to do that one. Uh, almost as bad as I want to do Critters, but of course I can't do Critters because there's licenses involved. Anyway, so, uh, movie's getting started. We're done. Let's, let's watch. Today's headlines, murder, rape, robbery, and arson. Not a lot's changed. Huh. Tomorrow's solution? Extermination? Because, like, those seem like they go with human society. Rotor! Oh, this, they're gonna rotor. It's gonna be like a caveman. They transmit forward from the past. Robotic Officer Tactical Operation Research. Is the robot researching? Are you researching the robot? What are we researching? Are we researching the tech? Uh. Our objective was to build the puppet cop of the future, a machine program to overcome any obstacle to combat the crimes and corruption which threaten the very existence of our society. But something went terribly wrong. As does hey, when you give robots guns. Hair okay. I've heard the station. They're the croak! Hey Rock, now croak is way better. Use croak. Croak's a way better name. Come on. Where? Demonstrably untrue. Are you looking at a different road than we are? Because that road's pretty open. This is Doug Dugan, and that's the Whirly Bird's eye view of the K-Rec report. Drive carefully, Dallas, and have a... He was flying out over the lake. He was just guessing what traffic was. This weekend, I'm really looking forward to relaxing on the lake. I'm not worried. You on the lake? Enough food for an army. I'm How do you relax on the lake? The no phone. And flat no alligator. Work, just a quiet, peaceful weekend at the lake. See, you never say shit like that. Oh, someone's fishing. You hear that? See, so much for your quiet, peaceful weekend. They're fishing, dynamite style. You throw it in, what let it pop, hell? get free fish. Oh, maybe not. Or his dynamite went extremely bad. You guys want to say anything or stare at him? Also, when did it become nighttime? Call the police. I don't, why do we care about your credit card? Shorty's fire burning you on bet. the dance floor. Whoa. This old boy just killed a motorcycle cop. I was fine then. Screw him. Hey, Kev. Switch bar. Yeah, give me the police, please. Police department.
All right, for all you young kids, that, that phone's not charging. They, they, they used to plug phones into cars. That's how they worked. They had to be plugged in. Like, see the little, it's even got the little cur curly Q wire. That's that's old people tech. That's, that's, <laughs> God, I'm old. All right, let's wait. Uh, th this is Paul Loftus. What's your location, sir? I'm at Lake Dallas at uh, Kane's Fishing Lodge. Oh, what's the nature of your problem, sir? You're not at a lodge. You're on the road. I think there's been a murder. I think. I haven't actually seen anything or... I was told. As usual, the cops arrive five hours later. That was one hell of a collar. Look at that shirt. I want plenty of stuff in my shirt, but only in the collar. Nowhere else. This here's what we call a Texas tuxedo. He's dressed to impress, ladies and gents. He had a date tonight. Damn, this, this crime wave getting in the way of his sex life. Show and shave downtown. It's gonna be a long night. Do you want him to shave his downtown? What kind of cop are you? Sure. You bet. Are you planning on choking with your seatbelt? Because that's not how you answer a normal question. You're up to something. You bet. I feel like if you ask someone, like, hey, would you want pizza for dinner? Sure. You bet. No, it's not. Shut up. I'm a captain with the Dallas Police Department in charge Cold of their iron. tactical operations lab. Two days ago, I was considered one of the leaders in the field of police robotics. Today, I'm thought of as a modern-day Dr. Frankenstein. My objective was I don't think you are. To make the I think you're making that up. City a little safer. It's like a serial killer tries to name himself. And the rest of society scum could be I bet you think of me as a modern Dr. Frankenstein. No. No, we just think of you as a douche. Are you pretty sure? I'm a little Frankenstein-y. No, not really. But how do you stop a killing machine gone berserk with only a go button and no compassion? This battle may have been lost. But the war continues. There's just too much at stake to give up now. Yeah, look at all this. Must be found to protect society from itself. I thought we were trying to protect society from your killer robot. Isn't that what you were just describing? We can gain entry into every classified paper in the tactical operations lab, Dr. Cold Iron. We'd rather get it from you, though. Please stop calling him that. It's Make not his no name. Mistake. We will do so in any event. Talk or not. Make no additional mistake, I just learned how to talk last week. I'm still having trouble with inflections and intonation. I know that this is an unofficial debriefing. Officially not an arrest questioning. Then please state so for the record, doctor. Unofficially. Officially? Oh, yes, Officially. I always get those confused. That's my bad. <laughs> Sorry. For the record? Last Thursday, my life was a hell of a lot simpler. Why is he playing with the money club? The day started just like any other day. The fresh October morning breeze blew across the ranch. The cattle were coming the in hidden for ranch. the morning feeding. Hidden Valley Ranch. And the buttery morning sunlight painted a golden glow through the ranch house windows. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. The buttery morning sunlight? If I'd known then what was about to happen. No, honey, I don't want these I lights. I want the soft bed. lights. They're buttery. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Sorry, I haven't had breakfast. All I can think about is butter. It's nice how his, his hay there just grows already baled. Go out and roll it onto the truck. It's fine. Oh, he's an Alex Jones fan. Look at all the supplements. In Texas, everything's bigger. Except for all them things you saw before the coffee cup. In Texas, the coffee cups are bigger. We have huge coffee cups. <laughs> Sun's already up at five? What the hell, Texas? Donald Trump? Why are you in this movie? Oh, never mind. This is the lesser known Trump son. Roger kissed me, baby, turn me 
Mr. Director, what should we put in the fridge? I don't, I don't know. Shit you think goes in a fridge. I, I, whatever. It's carrots, maybe? Orange juice? Just random bottles. Maybe some ketchup. I got some butter. For that sunrise. I want my sunrise with extra butter. What? What are you? Is he putting Mentos in his coffee? I mean, I hate the taste of coffee too. I wouldn't think to drop Mentos in there. Cool for thumbed up though. Even I don't want to be in this movie. You know, I really hope they show him walking all the way across the yard. I don't want to see him this cut bullshit. I want to see the full walk. Oh, yeah, nice lingering look. Now he's walking. Oh, we're going to get it. He's going to walk all the way across the lawn. No cuts. We're going to see the whole travel. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! That's classic cinematography right there. That's some good filmmaking. Yeah, that's what you want to see. It's actually not coffee at all. It's a uh, cup soup. So he set it up so that the coffee pot would go off four minutes before he woke up so it would be ready. Oh, look at that. He's giving some broth to his horse. Why are you shaking your head? Does like, the horse tell a joke? What the fuck are we watching? No, no, no. This actually isn't a real band. It was uh, the producer's cousin. Nepotism at work. Also, they couldn't afford a band. You know, it's a lot harder when you're trying to rope things that are moving. Clearing these stumps for pasture land has always been a chore. Which is why I usually don't do it. In the past, I've always used nitro or dynamite. But this new primer cord explosive... <laughs> Nitrous oxide, so your stumps just fly! Close the stumps away. That's not a stump, that's a tree. I want to make fun of this, I really do, but if I had that much land to myself and access to explosives, I'd probably blow up trees too. Not to get them out of the land either, just for fun. I, who doesn't love to blow shit up? I'm just, it looks like a good time, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, now this is 80s right here. Yeah. Mm. Get it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Get it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Get it. Mm. Yeah. Watching some dude driving through the country. Watching some dude driving in the city. We're gonna watch him drive all day long watching some dude driving down the highway watching some dude driving on the freeway watching some dude driving through the city we're gonna watch him drive all day long and he's driving to the public library that's a weird choice is the operations lab inside of the library? Also, I don't really care what time it is, movie. You can quit telling me. The Dallas Police Tactical Operations Lab. Our objective was to research, develop, and construct the nation's first invincible police force. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes the minorities shoot back, so you need invincible police. That way, only the minorities die. That's. Boys from the toys. This is the boy. This is the toy. Teaching the robot hip hop handshakes. That's a excellent use of what has to be a thirty, forty dollar robot. It's like a Roomba they stuck a body on. Good morning, sir. Morning. The research team from our sister facility in LA is here today to sit in on the Is he responding to an emergency? What's with the lights? Good. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Big D and DPD. <laughs> Big D. <laughs> and you wish. I won't Sorry. bore you with retube details, but Too late. since we're officially on the record this morning, 
Let off me the record. Recap our charter. Unofficial. We Official. scientists are like degreed science fiction writers. We're all prognosticators of the future. Oh, someone and got a thesaurus for his birthday. The purpose of vision belongs to the creed of law enforcement. We open inroads into tomorrow in ways and means of those who would serve and protect justice and order. As you know, it's all my fault that for the past This is an awful years, lot of words to say absolutely nothing. <sighs> into this development project. No good, we get a movie. But then a movie. We're watching a movie. Why do we need another movie? Oh. Introducing Rotor, the latest in laser tag technology. That's Why is he wearing sunglasses? Is this what your research has led up to? No, this is a Muppet that we scanned. Not quite. Another scientist, uh, Dr. Steele from Houston, developed a super technology constructed combat chassis out of an alloy. Wait, did you say Dr. Steele? So we have cold iron and steel? Is Dr. Steel your evolution? Also from Wilson, what's your intent in some little known alloy? Is there some good vibration to its molecular tonality? It's such a good vibration! Okay, so you've developed a robot that can dance like a white guy. I just needed you to know. I love you. Thank you for the sub to my. I mean, I get around, but I've never seen anything like this. this she gets around. Has been issued a prime directive. Fair. Dr. Allen, Jordan University. That doesn't answer her question at all. Are you saying this thing could do anything from aerobics to tai chi? Right. It can do. Well, it can't do aerobics. You would need an aerobic system for that. Uh, Dr. Bruce Johnson Lab, Zuma Beach. God only knows this is spectacular, but what exactly are we dealing with here? Uh, a robot doing Tai Chi. That's, All it needs is a sport. needs to limber to be a robot. Is a catalyst, an inducer, simulated brain impulse. In this case, a command. The metal itself That's... has already been taught the aerobic movement. You have no idea what the words you're saying mean. The electrical impulse of the induced corresponding command. And the molecules move the chassis into the remote. Hi, guys. I'll see you later. The metal itself can learn, remember, and teach itself. It doesn't need motors, gears, and tubes. There's tubes right there. A, place to stand. a lot of tubes. And it can move the world. Well, who are we who create such a thing? Looks like a Star Wars character. The only difference between a hero and a villain is the amount of compensation they take for their services. No, that's demonstrably untrue. No, that's... Mm -mm. I'd say we're heroes. I need a hero! I need a hero to design a killer robot and unleash it on the city! I'm so sorry! Ooh! Rave mode activated! This is our crystal balling. Actually, Frankenstein was trying to control life to reanimate necrotic tissue. You're creating a robot that kills people, so you're harnessing the powers of death. That's... You got that backwards. You're, 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 you're team death. That Frankenstein was team life. Remember, mankind is bent on genocide. Self-extermination. I'll show you the only remedy. Lots and lots of drugs. Urgent phone call for you in your office, uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, a phone call. Then. Social amenities, cold iron, and say we did. Now down to business. Do you know Allow me to spew out four or five more cliches. This morning? Your mother. Well, I'll tell you who, doctor. Our benefactor. Your, Your mother. Little ticket. Your mother. Mr. Free Ride, as you must think of him. Your mother. The Graham Reaper, as I think of him. Your mother. Donald D. Oh. Douglas. Yeah, I was so sure of that. The man who gave you the shovel you've been digging up graves with, my friend. I'm surprised Coca-Cola didn't pay them to not be in this movie. He wanted a progress report on your project. And do you know what I said? Look, Commander D plus? Earl, I know what you're going to say. No. <laughs> no, you don't here, Doctor. No, I am not hairy, I shave. Everything was right on schedule. See, I had to lie to him because from day one, you cut me out of it. You, you hated me. You, you thought I was nothing but a stupid paper jerker, a peasant. You hurt my fifis. I don't know how you're doing. So I said every 
Everything is fine. Fine, fine, fine. He must be a cop, Anything right? Because, like, be this dude hurt his Fifi, so now he wants to shoot him. That, that sounds like cops. Commander, things are ahead of schedule. Way ahead. In fact, we're close to fruition. We're going to have product. In 60 days. And I'm going to chew on my cigar. A douche. Private citizen. No. And do you know why? Because you're a douche. Because he can make me a private citizen. Oh. 60 seconds. Never mind. Now, why would he do that? For the same reason a dog licked itself, boy, because it can. Well, that's true. I mean, if I could because lick myself, I'd be doing it all day. This video would not get made. And do you have any idea why? Because no, you're a douche. Don't. Oh. Because you're a lab jockey and I'm a politician. Wait. Well, let me lay it out. If you're a politician, he can't just fire you. It's like a whole process he has to go through. Three and a half years ago. The bullshit. That grail can make him king. Your project, your dream, that's his holy grail. I wish I had a holy he grail. Millions from here and there and gave it to the mayor. I put it on eBay and make a fortune. Mayor took a slice and gave it to me. I took my cut and went down through half a dozen middle people, and you got what was left for your great quest. Oh, so standard American political corruption. Got it. Am I getting? Yeah, yeah, you're corrupt. We're all over. It's fine. That's the American politics. Hey, look, Robbie the Robot. I don't remember that guy. Google it. It's kind of cute. And if there isn't product by then, then the mayor, give him the little robot. Six other high political figures, and oh yeah yourself as well. All go to the state penitentiary for misappropriation of state and federal funds. That's not how that works. And your holy grail? There, there was a project they cleared, so... With your name printed on a target at the bottom. Wait. A robotic breakdancing urinal? Four years from now. I'd pee on that. Maybe the prototype. I'd pee on that. That sounds fun. Do you work for me, Cold Iron? You get it done. That's about as far as you're gonna stick it, Earl. You may be so crooked you got to screw your head on. But I'm a tough guy in an 80s movie. No, Cold Iron. He also looks like a Trumpy. You're off the project as of right now. Let me tell you something, mister. You fire me and I'll make more noise than two skeletons making love in a tin coffin, brother. You bastard. Yeah. I can't shake the mental image of trying to picture two skeletons boning. I'm assuming it's just pelvic bones slapping together, right? Like, nothing's actually inserted in anything, they just bounce off each other. That does sound noisy. Oh, let the door hit me wherever I please! Hold my calls! Because I'm fired, but still. to get you down to the uh, range and qualify it's that time again what's that statum you want me to go out and shoot targets now why is he so out scared range, you getting in my face about this statum right no, now is that what you no, want huh no uh, also why is cold iron such it, a sir. dick no need to bother he's just uh, doing his job i'll just send over another sharpshooter metal that's all sir <laughs> sorry sir all right hold on hold on hold on hold on i'm starting to think this lead actor here wrote the movie <laughs> And it's like some self-insert fantasy of his. <laughs> it's like, he's supposed to go qualify on the range, which is something police have to do periodically. They have to go down to the range and prove they can still hit targets, you know, so that they can shoot people who don't deserve it. But whatever. It's something they force them to do because they're going to be carrying a gun in public. But he, he gets a sharpshooter medal for that? That's not what that's for. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. I had to. I just, it makes Thanks. no sense. Sorry. Don't be sorry. He's a dick. You didn't do anything wrong. Fuck him. What's up, sir? I gotta get out of here. Ugor just jumped down my throat. Why, sir? Ugor? Because he can. Like the dog licking its nuts. Sir, what are you doing? I understood that. I'm giving you the keys. Well, no, you're not, sir. You're walking away from me. I don't. I don't have any keys. Holy grail, howling. We have that here, sir. But, sir, sir, you still haven't given me the keys, sir. What? I need those keys, sir. Why did the robot clear his throat? Oh boy. 
Eight six seven five three zero nine. Baroni's investments in scam may help you. Baroni's investments in scams? Hi you. Yeah, funny. Oh, no, don't they were getting in on crypto nice early. Nice day. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow then. Give me a reason. I quit. <sighs> meet you in twenty minutes at Crockett's. In fact, forget Crockett's. You quit. Let's Good meet at uh, McDonald's. Tactical Operations Lab. At another time, you don't care about. You can tell you're back at the lab and so you can hear that robot a mile away. Cold iron's fired. I'm project chief now. Huh? <laughs> I got 60 days. Uh, 60 days to what? Well, to deliver product. And, and that's impossible. It, it can't be done. Well, what if, what if you don't deliver? Then you're project chief. I can't handle that kind of pressure. I'm just the answering machine. You, uh, you gotta finish those fries? What are you going to do with them? You're on the mouth. Certain 80s cars were pretty. Most of them looked like ugly ass boxes on wheels. And had suspension like it was filled with jello. But some of them were really pretty. I was getting it on jam there. Uh, uh, okay, sound guys. Sound guys, you gotta move the mic closer. Like, sound guys, we can see them talking. We can't hear anything. Get, move the mics closer. We, we can't hear. No, you gotta get closer to them. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it wasn't important. That's fine. That's, no, wait, no, no, we're still here. We're still here. Okay, no, yeah, no, go through that, that slit there. Just get the mic in a little bit closer. Not too close. I don't want to hear him chew, but what are they talking about? I just... The, the, the conversation's still... Go, the co uh, they're still talking. Where the hell's the mic? The boom operator had to take a wicked dump. He's been in the bathroom for the last 30 minutes. It's terrible. Tactical Operations Computer Center. Or, as we like to call it, the parking garage of the local mall. Handling, it's not that one. It's the index file. Just shut up, will you? Just shut up. I'm just trying to help. You don't have to be such a dick. I, I can't run a sequential circuitry test without the impulse speed chain. Cold iron, Is there anything like a bike chain? Because I saw one over there. Wait. Wait. What? Punching all the impulse codes. That'll activate the chain, and we can go down to the tank and trace the circuits by hand. What do you say? Yeah, cool. My hands are largely for show, but yes. I can try. Yes. Very low budget. Yes. I said, never mind that. That's negative thinking. Think positive. I'm positive we're fucked. I think we're positively crazy for even trying this. Why does the robot wear a hat? For the media. I mean, let it spin across the room for the cameras. We've got 60 days. Maybe put it on Dancing with the Stars. But Rotor's The Rotor's never been active, right? So what does it matter how many times you've assisted Cold Iron? You're trying to do something he never did. Robotic Officer Tactical Operations Research. So like, why is he called Rotor? Wouldn't Rotor be the project? Because they're research they're the ones doing the research. Like the robot's not doing the research. Say, baby, slide me them seven digits. Who's urine is she analyzing? You've got to give up the phone number. <laughs> hey, baby, look. Yeah, I'm my bad self up in your face. And you looking everywhere but here. You think you bad or something? Another white supremacist? Are you smoking in a laboratory? I can't. I couldn't see. 
Schubert? Another pale face grinding his heel in the poor Indian's face. I thank God my sainted ancestors have gone off to the happy hunting grounds. Ain't around to see this. This <laughs> racism. You're not an Indian. So she's Look at these racist because she won't date you? Either I'm an Indian or I'm a sissy. Ah, sissy. And well, Got then, it. Sir, I must be an Indian. Don't you like have some mopping to do? <laughs> she you know, called you after being a janitor, which is rude. Classist bitch. I'm suddenly on Schubert's side. Red hand Apache. We had a custom. It's called the Blood Eagle. Oh, do tell. Chief captures an enemy warrior that he really respects. He uh -huh. can choose the way he wants to be executed. Sure, sure. Oh, gross. Quit it. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Yo, Betty, listen. I learned this stuff. Did you? Well, then educate us. Really He'd ask to die by the blood. Oh, shoe boogie. Okay. Okay, I'll ask. Gross me out. What? What is the blood eagle? <laughs> Check it out. Well, the warrior okay. he lays on the ground. Uh huh. Ropes to his arms and his legs. Sure. On the ends of the ropes, they tie to four different horses. And they slip uh -huh. the horses on the behind, and they run in four different directions. Uh huh. Well, the guy, you know. <laughs> That's called being drawn and quartered, and it was actually a uh, medieval... I mean, the Native Americans may have practiced it. I'm not 100% not sure, but it was mostly medieval Europe that they did that. Also the rack, which was a very similar concept, but with machines instead of horses. Um, Blood Eagle, from my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but uh, the way I heard Blood Eagle was they make an incision in between your ribs, and they draw your lungs out to the outside of your body and let you slowly bleed to death. That, that's how I heard Blood Eagle. Uh, but yeah, what he's describing is drawn and quartered. It, it's not... It's not that's not, yeah. Beginning. That's it. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> Cause like I said, once you go red, <laughs> you never get out of bed. You're in a killer? It's fucked up. My tunes. Got to have my tunes. So, his cheesy plastic switchblade comb caused a short circuit. So their equipment's as cheap as his comb. Got it. How long for the steaks ready? Mm, 20 minutes. Oh, I forgot I used all the charcoal last week. She smoked it. I these clothes and I'd hate to go back out. Mm, lady, you got some bargaining position. I'll marinate the meat and make the salad if uh, you go to the mini mart. Hmm. I reckon you got a bargain. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon you got a bargain. He went. He went Irish there for a second. <laughs> Yuck. Never a black eye around when you got a steak. Be right back. Okay. Bye. The inside of that jacket must be filthy. It looks like he just wiped his hands off inside the pockets. Willard. What am I doing down here? I forgot. Where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? Where's it now? Where's it going to? DJ. See? Pretty 80s car. Or Dr. J, maybe? Oh, look, they sell please. I can use some please. See? Oh, please. Oh, no, never mind. We're off. Looks like something's going down. I need my glasses. Okay, that is unbelievable. That is highly unacceptable. I cannot believe the gas was 69 fucking cents. I am super pissed off. That's regular unleaded 71. Okay, so I'd be paying 71. Apparently diesel is regular, whatever. 71 goddamn cents. Some horse shit. Fuck you, 80s. <sighs> oh, there it is. Pa-please. I love pa-please. I haven't had a good pa-please in forever. Change a dollar? Get out of my face, asshole. Look, dirt wad. It's understandable reaction to someone leaning in your window. Walk back over to my car. Okay, good. License into the cops. But if you give me change for a dollar, that's gonna give you about 30 extra seconds before I call you in. Comprende, bro. 
So, asshole doing profiling. Our main character's dick, we got that. I mean, we were already pretty sure of it, but like, now we've got confirmation. It's a gun, not a fish. He's swaddling his gun in a newspaper, I don't... Why? The dude's just making a phone call. Why the hell are you beating on him? That's assault. You had no re there was no reason to suspect he was up to anything. That's just flat ass assault. Okay, this guy you got a reason to hurt. You officially have one. Easy, easy. Okay, white boy. You get the watch. You're white too. I don't know why you're using a terrible accent. What are you gonna do? You gonna stop me? All you got is a newspaper. I got more than the newspaper. And you get to guess what it is. I don't have to, it's a gun, I can see it. Did I get it? Oh god, what a terrible prize! I wish I hadn't guessed. Okay, I do appreciate this. Lady of the supermarket's not a help helpless damsel, she's also a kickboxing expert. It's a little unrealistic, cause. If she can fight like this, why is she working there? But I appreciate the woman gets to be an ass kicker. Absolutely. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. In a few minutes. Yes, dear. I know. Sure. See ya. Captain. Just filling all the right places. I'll sign it for you. Since you're going into trouble, so why don't you go on home? Thanks a lot, Loki. What do you call him? You're covering for me. It's been a long day. Seriously, what do you call him? Just doesn't want to see the end. There you go. See, so don't use that next time. Ambulance boys don't like picking up bodies with a pooper scooper. I don't like it even more. You didn't pick it up. <laughs> you just made the mess. So, Captain. Yes. You know you've done the right thing. Did he? No street cop, are you? <laughs> Beat the so shit out of the guy on the cell phone, there was, or the payphone. There was no clue that he's even with these guys. Like... Let us boys out of the streets. Out of the test tubes. <laughs> sure. Everyone in the 80s smokes cigars? No, we'd have tobacco, tobacco shops in the malls. They smell terrific. It's an operative. Yeah, I know. Dude, you wouldn't drain a generator. The generator creates electricity. You didn't store it. No, I try not to. It hurts. I don't think you can quit, bro. You're your property. I'm alive! Alive! <laughs> Where, where's the door? I can't get out. Little help! L little help here. Oh, never mind. I found it. I'm good. Is this how the robot sees the world? Because I'm surprised he can find fucking anything. Also, what's with the crosshair? What what good does that do him? Locker room. Huh. Rotor! So even though this robot was decades away from being finished, they already had a suit made for him. Admittedly, it would take less time to make the suit. I'm just questioning why would they allocate resources? Dick. Excuse me. Get you to sign up for the policeman's ball? Rotor can't read! <laughs> What's the matter with you, buddy? Get your pecker caught in the plumbing this morning? Ought to jack you up. Spitting, polished, academy snot. God 
save us all. Not everyone should ad lib. The world's most advanced robot does not know he can walk around chairs. Or he's just being a dick because he's a cop. That it's pushed, Rotor. It's put there you go, buddy. Again, several decades out from finishing the project, already built him a motorcycle. Also, the second someone said his slogan is to judge and execute, I'd have killed the project. It's just me. Alright guys, we gotta hurry this up. The mall only gave us two hours to use their parking garage. If we're not out soon, they're gonna call the cops. Come on! Rotor, pick it up! We, we gotta go! Nope. Alright, pack the cameras up! We gotta get out of here! Quick, quick, quick! World's most advanced police robot can almost execute a wheelie. It was close. He almost had it. Willard, what do you think drained all the energy packs down in the vault? Your mother? You know what I thought, but no, nothing was out of place. We might as well shut everything down and pull the plug in the vault. We wouldn't want some sort of accident. <laughs> yeah, I got the feeling this is how Terminator got started. No, that got started with time travel and a good script. And better actors. And a decent budget. And some actual special effects, instead of just effects that I like to call themselves special. Rotor activated! Oh, thank God that didn't pop up on the screen five seconds ago, or we might have had a shorter movie. I'm going to work after the honeymoon. That's all there is to it. What do you mean? It's a weird non sequitur. Go to what work? I, all you've ever done is go to school. I yeah, know how many jobs people typically class, do that so they could go to, go to work. Parties. What are you saying? Just because I'm getting married, my life is over before it even starts? Of course not, Sony. Hey. Sony? What's her name? It's just embarrassing for a guy to have his wife work. And my wife's going to school, so I could be a stay-at-home dad. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Don't mention. For what? Better not. You know what it is? It's the wedding. I mean, that's what's wrong with this. Look, I want a wedding. And just because you've already gone through with it doesn't mean that I've... It's a barbaric it. ritual. So he's divorced? It's a sacrificial virgin. It's heathen. It's not heathen and it's not a sacrificial virgin, although it is barbaric, but for different reasons. For instance, the exchanging of rings and the wife taking the husband's name was to show ownership. You belong to us and our family now, not your family. You'll probably never see them again. You're our property. So, yeah, it's barbaric, but not for the reasons he's giving. He's just being a dick. Sweet. It's dragging us out, <coughs> Look, it took three weeks to get this shower together tonight. And look at you. Took you three weeks to like shower? Both eyes coming out of the same hole. What the fuck's that even mean? <laughs> like both eyes in the same socket? Or are they and ah uh, which hole? And keep it PG, fucker. Okay, I'll make you a deal, okay? Hey. Okay, what? A loaf with me tonight? Huh? He's gonna kill you for the insurance money. Get out while you can. I'll help you get a job after the honeymoon. Oh, it's 2 a.m. I'm starving. You ate at the shower. That was five hours ago. I don't know what's normal. I don't eat much. Huh? Nobody ever wants to go to the IHOP. Yeah, I Come on. Check the tranny anyway. Five pounds, Sony. Five! Violation! Excess speed! 
Murder! 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 It's tough, but it's fair. Take him up on it. He's a douche. Apparently he's getting out of the car and out of the relationship. Where are your lights, buddy? You're pulling someone over. You gotta put your lights on. It's okay, honey. It's a police officer. I hate you. Excuse me, officer. I was just telling my girlfriend here, are you guys are really cleaning up the undesirables in this neighborhood. Like, Cost of force, a restricted grid at an illegal speed. You guys are tough. In fact, uh, I'm willing to bet you uh, 20 bucks that you're going to give me a ticket. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey! No, no, it's fine. You can do better. You can do better. Oh, he copped a feel on the way down. That's not called for. Oh, Rotor's one weakness, car horns! It's a really weird weakness. It's also weird that she keeps hitting him. Rotor hates any noise that's not the John Denver band. John, is, John, is that is it John Denver band or is it just John Denver? You get my point. Go! Yeah, fuck him! A cap, A cap! Oh, he's wearing a girdle. I gotta say, though, for a robot, he's got a decent ass. Not sure why a robot's flexing his hands. It's a little weird. But, yeah, who am I to judge? It's fine. Rotor away! No, no, it's fine. It's, it's fine. He's an asshole. You can do better. You deserve better. Just forget all about him. He's dead now anyway. It's, it's not, you know. You gotta talk. I gotta talk this thing over. To, with, with the cop that has killed your fiance. That'll end well. I mean, I suppose you can always honk the horn again. Rotor, buddy, think it through. You've got a gun, remember? Whee! Woo! That actually did look fun until the falling under the curb thing. That probably hurt. But up until that point, it looks like a blast. <clears throat> Sorry, you can't sleep here. Not a whole lot of blood for a head wound. Rotor. Officer Rotor? Sounds Romanian. Do we have any Romanians on the force? Oh, I thought his phone was ringing. Dallas Police Department. Captain Cold Iron, my beeper. I, I refuse to call him Cold Iron. Sheriff's Department found a police name tag in the victim's hand. We fed the name into the computer, and it came up. Tactical Operations Lab, Captain J.B. Cold Iron, 0222. Can you give us some information, sir? Sergeant Mango, sit on this. Take no action. Affirmative? That's affirmative. That sounds like law enforcement. One of ours may have killed someone. Say nothing! Okay, we get it. She's going back to sleep. Why are we still watching this? Oh. 
Went back to the lab. Call you later. But you quit. Can you, can you just go back? The lab has to have the worst security ever. <clears throat> oh, she's low on gas. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure I would stop for gas in the middle of a car chase, but... Yada yada, yada I guess. Uh, lady, the sign clearly says closed. Respect boundaries. She just noticed it. The rest of us noticed it when she pulled up. She just now saw it. Also, why is Rodor stopping? Also, how did she outrun a motorcycle? I have so many questions. I get the feeling not a one of them is going to get answered. It, the little thingy didn't go up. She's not actually on a call. Sheriff of Highway or Tony, Sonia R. Garen, look. You gotta help me. There's been a murder. A motorcycle patrolman is trying to kill me next. There's been a murder. Your patrolman just tried to kill me, but not a word about her fiance. I mean admittedly he was a dick, but I still feel like we should acknowledge he was killed. You'll have to be a little more specific, ma'am. Most of us are a little crazy. Okay, she didn't mention the fiance. I feel better now. Ma'am, we're the police. We're not trained or paid to help people. An old gas station off I-20 West. Their exit. 643. But I can't stay here. Ma'am, you have got to stay there. We're not allowed to move, but I can get word to the Dallas Police Department. They're on this. You're not allowed to move? I'm pretty sure in the event of someone being chased by a killer, you can cross jurisdictional lines. In fact, I know you can. Oh, ma'am, nope. State Road 919 only goes east. What? Ma'am, I'm pretty sure you could have pulled straight through. Like, it seems more dangerous to back up at speed like that. Yeah, see, it's open on this side. You could have just pulled through. Oh. Now well, too late now. Roto! I wear my sunglasses at night. So they develop technology that allows you to see into the past. Admittedly, it seems useful, but like, how? Weird. Impossible. Impossible. I'm smacking the desk angrily, but lightly enough to not affect the microphones. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Cold iron. <laughs> That's not what that says, though. That says cold iron. <laughs> like, they're trying to be clever. It's cute that they're trying. <laughs> I'm Detective Cold Iron. I think upper brain functions are also unavailable. Oh, okay. There's, he's just noticing now that he's not in the tank. And <laughs> duty. To judge and execute. The only time anything other than green came up on that monitor. My point is that I don't think that monitor can display anything other than green. So, like, why? 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 Oh, it's fine. It's fine! It's fine! Don't question it. Just let it go. Willard, cold iron. What'd you do with rotor? No, it's cold iron. Oh, I refuse to call him Cold Iron. I will call him Cold Iron. What did you do after I left? Play parts easy. What happened? A little back end.
drained. What drained him? Now, sir, I, I know what you're thinking. I mean, I, I looked personally, it was still there. You looked in the tank, but you didn't check the suspension readout. Oh, no, why? Rotor's out. I see. Well, sir, I'd like to take this out. Well, if he's sleeping, it's fine. It's... Again, robot, you can't quit your property. This is Captain Cold Iron calling Detective Cold Iron on. Priority. Wait, wait, wait. So we've established that in this universe there's Dr. Cold Iron, there's Dr. Steel. This poor bastard gets to be Detective Mango. Someone lost the fucking name lottery. And it, and it was Cold Iron. That Mango is far more believable than Cold Iron. Anyway, it's fine. Cold Iron. Cold Iron. John Mango. I found out we got a rogue cop out there. Yes, sir. Deputy Sheriff Dean just called from west of town. A Sonia R. Garen called him to the road. She said a motorcycle patrolman shot her fiancé and is after her now. What'd he tell her? To keep moving until DPD got to her. Good. Nobody move till you hear from me. But we can't get to her if we don't move out, sir! <laughs> Cold iron. Damn it. Cold iron. You got your wish. 59 days soon. I just hope you can handle it. What are you raving about, man? You want a product? You got product. It's already killed once. And I need to go save a girl, but I wanted to call you and gloat first. The men you put in charge, they activated it. It went out, put itself on active duty. It's <laughs> and duty. program was prime directed. Shut up, liar. Prime directed in 25, 50 years from now. Prime directive to our rotor unit is judge and execute. It stops felons, judges the crime, and executes sentence. Just you, to serve you could have given other sentences other than death, and why is it on cash on delivery? I don't... You call that's... the senator, and you tell him the rotor walked through a busload of nuns to get to a jaywalker. And then kill the jaywalker, because no yeah, all sentences are the same, stop. apparently. It wasn't ready. Its brain functions have been complete. Sorry, Irv. can't think twice. Can't reason. Can't think Can't once. Change its prime directive. It's like a chainsaw set on frappe. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can you set a chainsaw to frappe? Because that would be the baddest ass way to make a smoothie I've ever fucking heard of, and I kind of want to try it. All right, Bugler. I'll go get him. No. When I bring him back. Bugler, heir to the bugle, chip fortune. Cause I'm an 80s tough guy. Poor Robbie. Did she pulled up somebody's loading dock? Why is she here? Oh, she did pull up somebody's loading dock. Look at that. Uh, ma'am, this is the kitchen. You can't be back here. Ma'am? Well, you know what? It's best not to question it. I am a ginger, after all. No soul and all that. Is she wearing ski boots? Uh, you have to wait to be seated, miss? God. Why? Yep, the sound guy sucks, because I could hear every one of those cans clinking. I could not hear a single thing Sonya here said. I hear the TV fine, though. Cold Iron. Emergency. I can't Detective Mango. I don't, the, the names in this movie. Sonya Garen. Where is she? I'm gonna bring her in. Sonya? Alone. Is he gonna use it? He's gonna use it! It's past sight time! I don't know why he has to take his sunglasses off for this to work. I mean, I'm fine with him wearing his sunglasses at night. He's a robot. But, like, I'm sure you could justify that somehow. But, like, why does his past vision only work when they're off? Also, dude, couldn't you have guessed that she went into the restaurant? What the fuck? Hey, you can't come in here like 
And that's coming from me, the human beaver! Oh no, come on, that's fucked up. First those teeth, and now you're doing this to his face? That ain't right. Boy suffered enough. Ah. And now for your 80s music video, starring Rotor! Okay, we can move on now. You got it. We can see him. Evil robot. Got it. Come on. Come on, movie. There you go. Who's the big movie? Oh, who's the big movie? He did get a pretty dope custom sticker for his helmet, though, so that's nice. I think all the Coca-Cola product placement, though, was just the, the film producers trying to blackmail Coke into paying for their movie. Like, we're not taking these out unless you give us money. Everyone will know you're associated with this film. Okay, here's an 80s trope that I've never understood, but always been very amused by. Lady running away from the police. And random passers-by are like, I need to help the lady! And you don't know what the fuck she did. She could be a fucking killer. You have no idea what the hell's going on. You're like, nope, nope, gotta step in and help the lady. I mean... Judging by all the reporting that's come out... Yeah, you probably should help the lady, because... Cops aren't great. But still, like, you don't know! Stop hitting yourself! Bald, fat karate. Whee! Is this a real man? Because if it is, I don't want to be a real man. It looks like it costs you a fortune in shirts. Uh, ow, my arm bones! <laughs> oh, oh, ow! Rotor just bitch slapped that poor guy unconscious. Car located or relocated, I guess. I can't find her. I'm stealing her change, though. I mean, that seat is kind of a dick. Also, why is the robot getting upset? It's a robot. It shouldn't have emotions. And why is that guy hanging out inside of a shipping crate with a window? This movie just raises so many questions. Hey, come on over here. Come on. Right down there. Go through that low track. Also, is that guy Big Jack? Is this his gas station? And why does the robot have a beer belly? Pass sight. Engage. Still don't know. Still want to know how that works. Again, not denying that it would be a very useful skill for cops to then sit around and not do anything about. It. But I want to know how it works. I want to cos cosplay as Rotor for a convention one year just because nobody will know who the fuck I am. Stay away from Clay. Get back here. Dangerous. Would you like to buy a hat, sir? I've got extra ones on the wall here. Wee! Why does Rotor keep forgetting he has a gun? He could have shot her like three times now. Come on up here. You'll be okay. Never trust a trucker who says that. Just Unless you're into that kind of thing. Honey. Very hey, dramatic dude. with his gun aim. Oh, I should have shot instead of talking shit. Oh, he shot Rotor. Weird that the robot went down so quick. Terminator would chew this motherfucker up. Oh, right. You know what? The car horn hurt him. I was hoping the semi-truck horn would cause his head to explode. I'm a little upset. That would have been way funnier. And she twists her ankle getting out of the truck. 
I'm sorry, but some damsels deserve to die. Why did I keep my back turned so long? Oh, you sit up here, big boy. Daddy's got stuff to do. I'll be with you in a minute, sweetie. Again, why does a robot get angry? I don't why does he make pained expressions when he's shot? He's a robot, he doesn't feel pain. Unless they design him to feel pain, in which case, why? Money clip, rotor like, shiny, oop, oh, car. <laughs> he groans in frustration. What the fuck is up with this robot? <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious, but... Breaker, breaker. He's a rim breaker. Oh, Jesus. Come in. Come in, Sonia. Who is this? Sonia. Texas, is this a thing? Do you all just drive around with CB radios in your cars? Yeah, yeah, who is it? I mean, I'm from Florida. Like, we, we don't do that here. I just... This is Captain Barrett Coldiron. I just pulled into the gas station. Calderon. Oh, the rim just punctured my lung. <coughs> hey, hey, knock it off. Hey, I'm not very good on this thing yet. Chill. What's happening? What's going on? Sonia. Blade. I, I think I crippled him. At least he's ride. At least he's ride? Listen to me. He's gone renegade. He's gone renegade. I don't know why that tickles me so much, but it really does. Do I have a fucking choice, yeah. asshat? Maybe. Help me, Sonia. Help me help you. Help me help you. Help me help you. Help me help you. Uh, but what if I'm okay with him being on a spree if I'm not included? What are you talking about? Hey, what do you mean? Lady, I just got hit in the head really hard. I can't be liable for what I'm saying. Any of the fishing camps out there? I don't know any of the fishing camps. I know some of the roads up the fishing camps. Good. There's a big sign that says Kane's Fishing Lodge. On the left, yeah. Okay, now listen close. I don't know anything about that area. Oh, you mean about a quarter mile past the Arby's on the left, behind the- Get this son of a bitch away from me, Captain. Hang on, Sonia. Red Sonia. It's nighttime here, but we just saw the sun was up when she was driving a second ago. This movie has no idea what time it's set. I'd like to make a call to Houston. Texas. Texas. Oh, Area code wait, that's not a joke. It, Houston's in Texas. Welcome to the machine. If this is Dr. Corrin Steele, I'm Barrett Coldiron. I, I refuse to call her Steele. We've never met, but I need you. I waited she just got done with her 4 a.m. workout sesh. That body doesn't build itself. And honestly, mad props, lady. She's got to push a shit ton of plate. Whee! She's out running the plane. Friday, 8.30 a.m. Another time and day that you do not care about. Doesn't say shit about the cop fixing his bike in his garage. Also, it's not just car horns. It's also shitty music. I think they got his passed out drunk. No, I'm with Rotor on this one. That was the right move. It, it, it deserved to die for that sound it was making.
I don't. So he touched the jumper cables together and it caused the film to go into negative. That's not how that works. And it's not like he was energizing himself because he wasn't touching the metal parts of the cables. And why is this random guy in a truck just totally chill with somebody leaping in the back? Well, that was a good pick-me-up. <sighs> back to trying to kill a helpless woman. Again, like, like cops do. Whee! I would make fun of how comically southern their air, their uh, announcer is, but I mean, here in Orlando, whenever you go to the airport, it's American Airlines Flight 743 pulling into Gate 7. Ha <laughs> ha! Just they all sound like Mickey. I don't know why. I think something in the water. So he left a message for this lady. He doesn't know when she's coming in, if she got the message, what airline she's on. But he decided if he hung out at the airport long enough, eventually he'd find her. And he was right. Weird. There's a lot of dialogue in this movie that wasn't important enough to include. Sorry, we finally got to meet like this, Dr. Steele. I feel like old friends meeting again. You know, we got to know each other's papers and mathematics pretty well. Your designs for the combat chassis are the most brilliant I've ever seen. It was nothing without your own brain matrix. He's brain matrix there. isn't a thing. We made him, and he's doing what we made him for. Killing people. Science, there's no room for, for speed. Error. There's no place for it in law. We built the perfect lawman. The one who could walk into the streets of blood, the cities of fire, the, the edge of destruction, and function perfectly again and again. And already, look what Streets happened. of blood and cities of fire, Human huh? Error. Now I've got to like bring him back in. After the nuclear apocalypse, you know maybe? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, maybe. Except for this. Your money clip? Come on. Yeah, well... Maybe, like you said, impossible, but let me ask you something, Steel. Can we bring him in? You got the key. Now we just gotta find the keyhole. It's in his butt! Dum dum, pss. Dum dum, pss. Is your wife gonna be okay with you going to the hotel with another woman? Looks like she packed her trombone, so that should be helpful, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Wait, where'd the bellhop go? Oh. Apparently. Employees aren't allowed to use the rotary door. I've done my homework already. She was genetically engineered with a skunk. Can he be stopped? I don't know. <clears throat> when I stack them, they stay stacked. That neither answers my question or makes sense. Steel, CR Steel. Cold We're rubber steel. Over ten cans here. This is reality. Doctor Steel, yes, room two twenty-two. Great. What? That's his badge number. Superstitious, huh? Could I have another room? There's no sense tempting reality too darn much. Re reality? Do you mean tempting fate? That didn't make any sense. Why? I, how are you tempting? How have you tempted reality before? You confuse me, lady. But I do love your hair. Remember what I said at Rotor's christening? No. First prototype of a future battalion. I didn't know Rotor was Christian. On the battlefield highways of the future, you'll be the judge, jury, and executioner. Now I'm to judge and execute. Were we playing God, breathing life into our artificial atom, or have we lost sight of paradise? No, but you're playing fire, creating a robotic executioner. Did I request the maker for my clay to mold me, man? Did I solicit thee from darkness to promote me? Is it his fault he is what he is, or is it ours? It's definitely yours. 
Well, either way, when did you change? Why are you flexing? Years too soon. Let's go get him. Wait, hold on. I, I gotta check on something real quick. So 25 years. So they, they think that Rodor would have been fine if only it had been released on time and 25 years in the hellish landscape. Okay, so this movie was made in 1987. So 25 years would be, what, 2012. Do you remember the hellish cityscapes of 2012? The cities of fire, the streets of blood. It was a terrible time, 2012. <laughs> the fuck movie? <laughs> Play the way, please. Play the way. Those guys seem like dicks. So anyway, about the wedding. We're cut off. No backing, no backup. I don't know what's happening. Except for this. I know he's not on an ongoing program. Something in the molecular memory of the chassis alloy. It's affecting the brain matrix. None of that made any yeah. sense. He's You're talking at your ass. Himself. He's got more potential than we ever dreamed. Oh, God. The brain matrix. It's modeled after your own lower brain functions. Without That's all I have is lower brain function. A brain without a heart. <laughs> a conscious without recognition. A consciousness? A without a soul. If I miss... You'll be fighting your own base instincts. To combat pure will, you'll have to use pure illogic. What do you Wait, mean? what? You will have to allow yourself to fail. Use your failure against him. Your what? failure is his I, I repeat, failure. what? Your weakness is his weakness. Then, only then can you do something. Great. Uh, that made I zero I sense. I don't... Let's hope you never have to find out. Remember, but let's just say I don't either. I just I'm wanted just to sound wrong. cool. You're a doctor, you're also the brains! So he lost her and then had to find her again. Oh, he got closer to executing Wheelie that time. He's getting better, he is learning. Probably when he's having power surges. He's draining constantly. I got a theory. So he's constantly peeing? I forced his substructure plates apart. Well not wanna be the guy who has to clean that motorcycle. If I got that close, finding the keyhole would be the last thing on the It's his butt! The keyhole's his butt! Oh, unless this is a frauding situation. Don't Google that. If you don't know what frauding is, just leave it alone. You don't want to know. It's fine. What if I got that close? Could work. But don't get that close. Even though it could work. <laughs> That looks like a fun road to just gun it and see how fast you can go before you lose control. <clears throat> I mean, oh, oh, he actually pulled off the full wheelie that time. Maybe now you'll do stoppies. Got a new skill to learn. And he's passing her, but now he's behind her again. <clears throat> Sideswipe him. Oh, super futuristic self-learning robot just flew off the road. And she's getting out of the car for, you know, reasons. But dude, he's in the dirt. Just drive off. Oh. Rotorcycle, no! I like the bike. It's pretty much just a normal bike, but it's pretty. No, oh, she's hurtled. Hurdling. Hurdles? Doing hurdles. Jumping hurdles? I'm gonna stick with hurdling. I've never had a pee so bad in my life! She has been on the road a long time. It's understandable. Here's the story. The girl, Sonia Guerin, somehow got in his way. I don't know, ran a stop sign or something. Rotor killed her boyfriend. She ran. Fiance, thank you. This program to chase. I caught up to her last night. She's okay. She's resourceful. Been driving ever since, keeping them occupied, tracking her. Rotor did beat the shit out of me, though. What have we done? I wish I knew. What do you mean you wish you knew? You created a killer robot. We know what you did. We're trying to... What you wish you knew is how to stop the damn thing. You could have gotten here a lot faster if you kept the car. That is the first Apple Watch. 1987.
Is it just me or does it look like her pants are trying to hold her boobs up? Cold Iran. There it is, on the screen. Power surge. We've got it! All right, let's get off the road and go cross-country from here. You, you just say off-roading. Cross-country is a really weird way to word that. Fine, I guess. You don't happen to know any good Indian trackers, do you? Used to spend every summer on the Indian reservation. Well, I do. <laughs> I'm like a cemetery. I'll take anybody. Kudos for the update on your sex life, but that does not answer my question. Step in there. Okay. Shit. Looks like someone ran through here because they needed to pee. You're Look supposed here. to track footprints, not dust them away. Oh, it ain't Pee Wee Herman's. <laughs> that might actually be a scarier movie. Pee Wee Herman out in the woods, some lady trying to run away from him. God damn it, it was tied up with a bungee cord. Oh, wait, no. Hi. I'm, I'm sorry, can you speak normal? You know, you could have killed her like six times by now. You are terrible at your job. Like, even right here, just fucking shoot her. <laughs> ah, I'm making pain expressions even though I'm made of metal and shouldn't be able to feel pain. Just shoot him again, what? <laughs> she's just trying to prove she's strong. Like, lady, we can see your muscles, it's fine. Oh, now he's gonna drown her in the river. Like, whatever it is. Oh, you ruined her beautiful mohawk! You're a jerk, Rotor! Also, about half this, like, uh, fish population has died from all that product. The most low-energy, low-stakes fight ever is happening in the background. Punching the robot in the stomach's gonna do. Oh shit, her hair's already dried. That product's amazing. I don't put product in my hair, but if I did, I'd want what she's having. Alright, now bend over. I gotta stick this in your ass. Oh, he had a buggy. Rhoda's just trying to help. Again, why, why, why the pained expression? Why is she waiting so long to chamber each round? Just keep shooting. Yeah, the gun works way better as a bludgeon. Wait, primer cord. So this is the explosive cord he's using on his ranch? And you're tying it to your truck. That's a brilliant idea. Ow! Ow! Whee! She spilled raspberry jam on her face. And film negative again, for reasons. Oh, she's all tuckered out. It's okay, you can rest here. Tony, get in the trooper. Get ready to back it off and take up the sled. Whatever, dick. Mansplaining slack to me. Come on, you monster. What's the matter? Using my brain to think with? You're I've tried it. It doesn't work. Enough. Do you understand? I said no more. Enough. No more. I love you, Rotor. Oh, right, I forgot this hurts him. 
I could have done this a long time ago. Maybe save Skunkhead. Fucking super police robot stumbles into a Bugs Bunny trap. Well, that was a weak knot. God, this guy was not a Boy Scout. To be fair, I was a Boy Scout. I have no idea how to tie knots. What about that skunk-haired lady? Why? You just left her down there. Oh. Oh, he's still standing. Time to figure Look at that. What this means to Tough ass robot. It means we're charging you with attempted murder. My office. After that, I got a ranch. Actually, got we're charging you with actual murder. I got a pretty you designed the robot, so you're kind of liable for what it I did. Do. I got a future. One day at a time. Okay, but that all made no sense. Why do you leave us his money clip? <laughs> okay. Why? Oh, it's uh, Commander Hamburglar. Or whatever the fuck his name was. Justice served. C O D. Well, no one's gonna pay you for that. First off, the second off, how is justice served? Why Mr. was Brent killing him the right Holmeyer, way? Oxford University. Hold your Science Department. Dear Brett, we are sorry to inform you of the sudden and tragic death of your uncle Barrett C. Coldiron. Your Hold your He gave his life in the line of duty. As Actually, heir, technically, he gave his life after the line of duty. Like, he was done before. doing his duty, and then he died. Again, so. we deeply regret the loss of your uncle and share your grief. Sincere condolences. Earl G. Bugler, Division Commander. This is really cute, though, because it means they thought they were going to make a sequel. They thought someone would want a sequel to this. The Journal of Brett Coldiron, 11 13 Six weeks later, I received my late uncle's journals, along with a substantial cash inheritance. And what about his wife? About Wouldn't his wife get his inheritance? I hope we'll learn not to fear our technologies, but to fear the people who use them. I feel that when he created the perfect police combat... Okay, so I've got questions, just based entirely on the scene. Uh, was she a rotor? Was he using a rotor to stop a rotor? And this is Rotor 2, so she would be the second one, but he was still working on the prototype for the first. And if all that's not the case, and it turns out the nephew is building Rotor 2, why would he design it after Steel, whom he's never met? He knows nothing about. He's never seen her. He has no idea who the fuck she is. It just opens up more questions. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. He deleted the very special quality law enforcement was founded on. Human mercy. Wait, he built his killer law-enforcing robots out of human mercy? That doesn't seem right, does it? Right, like, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Th there was no mercy in that robot. It just killed. That seems weird, right? Right? It's not just me. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, whether here on Twitch or over on Tubes of You once I post this. Either way, I appreciate your support, you beautiful, beautiful mammals. Um... <laughs> so we're gonna end it there. I'm gonna work on that that riff of Chopping Mall, my favorite. I love Chopping Mall, and Willard the robot as himself. Uh, <laughs> work on that riff of Chopping Mall because I love Chopping Mall. It's the greatest movie ever. It's gonna be a labor of love. I hope you all will appreciate it when it comes out. Listen, hopefully it'll be this Wednesday. Cross your fingers. Wish me luck in finding the free time to work on it. I really, really, really want to get it done. Anyway. Thank you all so much. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, do all the YouTube stuff, the likes, the subscribes, all of that. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, there'll be a link down below for tips. If you want to support the channel, I would appreciate that as well. And again, we got the Extra Life QR code there, and there'll be an Extra Life link in the description to support Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital in of Florida. Thank you all so much for your time. Until next time, take care of yourselves, look out for one another, and have a great day! Oh shit, Coca-Cola actually helped pay for this movie. <laughs> Why? Was this like one of those things where they just throw a shit ton of movie money at a shit ton of movies and hope to god one of them sticks? <laughs> I'm just guessing. 
All right, anyway, thank you guys so much. Take care. Have a great night. I'll see you next time.